I've decided to do a 24-hour survival with a normal game mode and no cheats allowed. The goal that I've chosen to accept is to not die on the first day and get myself a piece of iron. That's the grass on top of the dirt block, or the cherry on the cake as most people know it. I'm gonna zone in and have a look around. The first thing I want really is trees, so if I'm in a desert, I'm dead. Lucky? Looky, looky, it's a standard normal biome. So I'm going to go over here and chop down some of these trees. It's going to take a bit of time because I don't have an axe or any weapons or anything. I'm naked, except for my blue body. After chopping this tree down, I need to make a crafting table. That will help later. Not great now, but it will help. With that, I can build things. So, I'm going to make a little crafting table. Crafty, crafty. Okay, it's in my toolbar. Head over to the birch. Precarious little valley there. Climb on over, and let's see. Let's pop some of these birch trees down. I like birch trees. Nobody else does, apparently, but they're really cool. This is getting kind of ridiculous, punching the trees down, but we need to do it. We need the wood. Loads of wood. Okay, so now I'm going to build myself a sword and an axe. The two tools I need to do the deed. Maybe I could cut the trees down with that, but no. Does it increase the speed? I don't know. Let's go over and chop down as many trees as I can within the time frame. I don't want to spend too long doing this because it's silly. But it's an important task. As much wood as we can get in the first few hours will help later for sticks, torches, ladders, should I risk going underground, and furniture. I'm probably going to need a bed. I'm not going to sleep in it. That's for tomorrow. I've got to work 24 hours. But that's fine. This is survival. And sometimes you've got to work a lot. Chickens have got to die. Again, back to chopping trees. Plenty of trees. There's millions of trees. Which is good, because when I come back for the 48 hour playthrough, I'll be getting some more trees for the ladders. Birches. Ah, delicious. Oak, birch, birch, oak. It makes no difference right now. I need it for sticks and planks. 24 hours in-game is 20 minutes of real time. What am I talking about? This is real time. There's a clock mod that you can install. A bit difficult to do. You can see it in the top left hand corner when I do a fourth person view. So it's not on the screen at all times, but I promise I'm not cheating. So some more birch trees down, let's go through the little rivery bit and head over to this little open space. Over there there's lots of animals I can massacre, I need the meat. It'd be great if there's some sheep over there, I think there's some sheep over there. They're going to be getting killed too because I need the wool for the bears. And cows of course, cows are going to get blocked as well. I need the skins for maybe a helmet, a chest piece, legs or boots. Now, what I want to start doing is looking for an area to build a house. Some kind of dwelling. I also really want to explore that cave system over there. Got to gather as much meat as I can. Meat, skins, wool, need. There's something in the distance that needs to be investigated. Should there be some coal in there, I can fire furnaces and start cooking, which is important because I'm probably going to get hurt. OK, 
okay. There's a bit of an open system over here. Looks a little bit risky, but it's getting dark over there. I left my crafting table over there, so I have to make a new one. And then I can make a pickaxe. Because remember, I haven't got anywhere to build this yet. It's just not safe. Simple wooden pickaxe, it'll do. I'll leave the crafting table. Uh oh. There's two things. Look, oh no, there's a skeleton. The zombie's not too bad. But the skeleton is pinpoint accurate. Okay, you're going down. Ouch. Chopped hard. Oh, getting done by the sunlight. Good, good, good. Bye, zombie man. Now, this is Rick. This is dangerous. He's getting pinpoint accuracy on me. He's nearly killed me. I don't want that. Okay, good, good. Hey, look, whoa, iron. No way, there's iron already. I've got it. I've got the iron. Surface iron, that's brilliant. And coal. I'm picking it. I'm picking it. I need it for torches. Check behind me. I don't want to get killed by anything because that was already dangerous enough. I'm down to three. Uh oh. The creeper, that's really bad. Hopefully, I can chop him with the. Okay, he's gone. Back to pick him. I can hear more noises. I don't want to hear noises. It's a zombie. That's really bad. Hopefully the sun can kill him because my wooden sword has just popped. I lost one and a half health fighting this guy. I'm not going to punch him. I'm going to run away. There's also a creeper. This survival day could get bad. I'm not going to eat the rotten flesh because that's not good for me. I've got the axe. Maybe I can just chop my crafting table and run away. Oh, the creeper. Ooh. That was way too close. I'm going to pick the rest of the coal and hopefully get out of here. I think now I need to start making a base. This is getting quite precarious. The danger levels near that cave are on maximum. So let's have a look where I can build a base. Here, I fancy building a side cliff house. For some reason, that's probably going to be super good. So, let's pop myself some sticks in to the crafting table and make myself a new sword, because that's going to be helpful. I only have one and a half health and no food. I'm not going to eat raw chicken either, that's also disgusting. I also need a shovel, so let's take that. Dig out some of the dirt quicker. This looks like a really good place for a base. Get some torches ready, because it's going to get dark in there. It's reached about noon. I can't quite figure it out. Let's just take that sheep out. What I want to do is set up my house here. It's not the best place, but this is survival day one. I've got to block up the hole that I just made because I want to make a safe base, not have any monsters looking in. Build myself a door, pop it in, and a pressure plate. I like the pressure plate on the inside because nobody can press it except me. On the outside, monsters can press it and get in. So a plan, block up the hole, is to make a little cave here, I guess. A cave den. I also need some furnaces to start cooking the chicken. That will be a delicious end to this first day. I'm not sleeping, like I said, I'm gonna put the bed down in a bit too. Let's dig some space for my little house here. I know I'm still on one and a half health, 
but no one's coming in my house and I'm not going out again because it's getting dark. It's dusk and there's no way I'm going out there now. The last thing I want to see is a skeleton shooting at me on this elf. No way. Build another pickaxe. This time I can make a stone one, which will really speed things up. And to be honest, the stone pickaxe is way better than wood. Wood is wrong. The chicken is ready. Now let's have a look. pick out the floor as well. When I pick out the floor, I'm going to replace it with wood because I want it to feel a little bit homely. I know it's survival day one, but I want to feel like I'm in a base that I made, not just some random place. Whoops, light went out. I don't want that, that's scary. Pop a torch in and start replacing the floor. 4x4, four four, I guess. 4x6. Four that feels a lot more homely. Now it's chicken time. Ah, oh, that was delicious. Generate my health back up and I find a place for the bed now. To get out a bit more, again, I want to have a nice, sizable base. Not too big, it's not going to be a mansion. My health isn't filling up, so I'll eat some more chicken and then get back to digging. I also want to put the bed somewhere, make a little bedroom. I probably can't sleep in it because the monsters are around. If the bed's too close to monsters, you can't sleep. So let's dig out a bit more space. Now I've just remembered I have some leather. Maybe I've got enough to make a hat. Oh, only four. Okay, well I can make some shoes. That gives me half an armor. <laughs> That's pretty good. Have some more of that yum yum chicken and fill my bar up to full. Let's replace the floor over here because I've just expanded the room. This is quite sizable without being silly. Switch it to oak planks, fill in the gaps. Now I've got a space for a bed. I'm gonna build a little area in the corner to put my bed. The survival mode at this point is not so exciting, but I'm not leaving, because I will be dead. These leather boots cannot save me. Now I've got a little six by two space for the bed. Just replace the floor, I want to have nice wood bits again. Like I said, I want it to look a little bit decent. Okay, that's good. Now put the bed down. Nice. It's covering the wall. Now I've got a bedroom. Put the door in. Check it. Torch placed. Great. Head over to the crafting table. Get some more planks. And build a pressure plate. Put the pressure plate in to access the bedroom. I'm not going to use the bed because I'm tired and I don't really want to fall asleep right now. So, carry on with work. 
finish off expanding my little home. My first home. This is free as well. Okay, cool. Go back to the crafting table, check if I can cook something, because I'm a little bit peckish. I'm going to try cook some meat. Let's see, beef. Or oh, ten, I don't want to put all ten in. Let's do five and five. I think that'll be enough just to craft those five steaks. Steaks is a luxury item, I'm not a steaky person right now. Plenty of birch, let's use those to make sticks. Sticks for ladders. Um, I'm not going to go too deep. Because, you know, day one. I don't think I have enough ladders to go so far down. I think you need about 60. Check outside. It's still dark. There's no way. There's no way. At this point, it's early morning. I'm going to head over here and build a small ladder shaft. This is where I can start going further down. I want to go all the way down to the core. Get some diamonds later. Not today. Probably in a few days' time. Go check outside. There's a lot of spiders and stuff out there. There's no way. Okay, so I'm going to dig down here. Put some ladders in. Three. And a torch on that side so I can see. Okay, check the ovens. Plenty of steaks. I might need them because I've got to brave the outdoors. Lots of torches, because I need them to see my way back. And light the path so I can see if anything's coming. Heading over here back to the danger area, I'm going to pick that iron. Hopefully there's no monsters waiting for me. Seems clear. So pop some more torches down and then pick the rest of this iron. Okay, I think there might be six or so. How many? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There'll be eight blocks of iron. That's plenty. I could build a sword and a pickaxe with that. Now my pickaxe is just broke, so I can't get that coal. I've just used all the coal in the steakhouse. What am I going to do? Got to go back to base, get another stone pickaxe, and then go back out. I could use the wooden planks as fuel, but they burn way too quick. I want the coal. Get myself a new stone pickaxe and head out. Okay, safe again. I really don't want to get hit by anything. I'm on full health and I have shoes, which is nice. But I don't want the risk. This is day one survival. I nearly already died in the beginning. So let's pick this coal. Was it like three bits? All right, that's enough. Get out, pick the rest of the iron. Good. Let's go back to base and build that iron pickaxe. That's the prize. That's the actual goal. That's really what I wanted to do today. And I've done it. Okay, a skeleton has aggroed and is chasing. Oh, no, no. Good. See? The pressure plate saved me. Put the coal in the furnace and the iron. I want to build everything. Plenty of coal to put in. Let's burn it. Get my first iron ingot. This is brilliant. I've surpassed my expectations here. Get all the iron out. And build the iron pickaxe. That's the trophy. Now it's starting to get light outside, the sun's coming up. That's good. I have a quick look outside, I'm going to brave it in a minute. Maybe I can cook some meat on that last bit of heat. It's not a huge issue, I've got plenty of stuff.
Okay, let's get the sword. Just a skeleton. He's looking. I'm gonna fight him. I don't care at this point. Come on. Then. Okay, chop. All the zombies are starting to burn with sunlight. It's been a good survival day. I did nearly die in the beginning. Approaching a cave system with nothing was not a good idea. I didn't really expect to see so many monsters out there. That was so silly. Look at this little guy. I think he's burning too. He's going to get shot. Let's head back to my home. Do a quick morning shot with my iron pickaxe because I've survived the night. I've done it. The time is up, but I want to have a look at what I can see from the top of my house. Going to climb up to the top and have a quick look. There's a jungle biome over there. Nothing else. Birch forest, that's kind of where I started. What a fantastic day this has been. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.